welcome to my channel. In this video and the short series to follow, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks I've picked up in the beta, including some of the best workshops to get started with. I think this is probably the best one early on to get going. And I'll go into more detail here in a minute about why that is and where this one can be located. But first, I think we should really take a moment and marvel at just how spectacularly terrible my aim can be. I've got a condition called potato aim. Uh, it affects a lot of us, but we'll see what happens. This factory, as with most of the workshop, comes with plenty of enemies to shoot to get started. Missed him once. Let's see if I can get him again. Oh, right over the shoulder. Scoping didn't help. Ducked it. Uh, let's check out the pistol. It's not loaded. Oh, got the ground good. The ground is definitely dead. Uh, here we go. Grab to load the pistol again. Make sure the wall's dead. Close this out without too much more embarrassment. There's one. And the other. Okay. Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm, or SMIF, as we've started calling it, is located on the left side of the map, about midway up. Um, it's not indicated on your starting map, but if you go to the part that I've got selected here in blue, you should see the workshop icon, and it'll lead you right towards it. It's not clear yet if the enemies are based on your level or the area, but either way, it seems like these are like around 1 to 8, so they should be easy as long as you're, you've got a couple of levels on. <laughs> The reason we feel Smith is an important place to start is primarily because of the uh, food processor here. The food packaging factory that comes within this workshop does take 40 power to get going and that can be a bit rough. We did have the Poseidon factory, our workshop taken, and the, and the generator there was online, however, either because it was turned off for the beta or it was bugged, the, none of those distribution systems were working. However, if you have the large generator, uh, four of those large generators will be enough uh, to start creating food for you. So here, here I am fumbling around trying to decide where I'm going to put these generators. Ultimately, I decide to put them outside because that makes the most sense. Um, <laughs> but you see me turn around in confusion for a while and decide maybe I'll place one in here. And then when all four won't fit in the line and need for order, 
won't accept anything else, I make a sensible decision to take it outside. So I stack these four up out here, and then run a line inside to get that plan going. In the full game, hopefully the generator itself will be running. Um, the Poseidon plan will be running, and that is another key workshop that I, I think if you've got the materials to get in and get the get it up and running is well worth the time and resources it takes. The other reason we feel Smith is an important workshop to start with is because of the extractors you can use. At this workshop you can place concrete, fertilizer, aluminum, and junk extractors, which are all great. The fertilizer especially because you can build, using that you can build a pretty substantial farm early on, which is going to keep you supplied with food, which is just one less thing you've got to worry about. In addition, the junk extractor is great. The junk extractor will pull up things like screws and gears and springs that are a little less common when you're doing your regular run-of-the-mill looting. And while I miss hitting these dogs a whole bunch, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. Feel free to leave any suggestions you've got for future content down below. And I'll catch you next time. Later.